Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in these predator mode video episodes, we're going to do a lot of different things from unboxing, but also like visiting, thrifting. But in this video, I wanted to take a close look at a new convention here in the Netherlands. And so in the last couple of years, I have visited a lot of these conventions and it's always like a lot of fun. But at the same time, it's also like an information overkill. But even in names, retro game convention, there is so much stuff that we can see and we'll show you now in this video. Like plushes, action figures, you name it, everything that's retro and also a little bit of modern gaming. You can find it all here. But in this episode, I'm not alone, I'm with my buddy, Neo Gunlock. Yeah. Together we're going to have a lot of fun on the convention just to see what we can find when it comes to gaming. So after an hour and 15 minutes, we made it through the convention. Okay, so where it is, it's basically nearby Rotterdam. They call this Shidam. Oh man, I love saying these names, the Dutch names in English. Okay guys, so we finally made it and I wanted to check it out here for you guys, what are we going to get? And of course, maybe pick up some awesome things. They were setting up everything and yeah, I was a little bit earlier before the convention opened up. And these guys has a lot of work, like some of them like were very early and like needed one up to two hours for setting everything up because some of these conventions are huge like this one and a lot of people have a lot of stuff. So they need the time to set it all up. All right guys, so let's take a close look at all the stuff that we can find here on the convention. This plush, the Sonic the Hedgehog, I really find it cute. And this thing is quite huge by the way. Here you can see like we're having some different Star Wars action figures. By the way, I did see those with the action. Okay, so this one comes with me, like the beefcake from South Park with Cartman. Which one is this? Oh, that's from the game One Night with Freddy or something like that. Yeah, Freddy Night, whatever. I never played the game by the way. But you can see like they're having a lot of great stuff. 10 euros, so the beefcake guy comes with me. Later on, we'll pick it up. And we're having here some wallets. So we're uh, starting the convention with not a lot of retro stuff. Bus Lightyear figure. Okay, and sometimes you're having these items thinking, what is it doing over there? So if you're searching for a Nintendo DS, we can have basically find every single model. Some people have a couple of them, some have like piles of them. There is even a Nintendo Switch Lite in the yellow color. And here we have again, getting some expensive Game Boy games, or they're affordable. Because if you're looking at expensive, there is this game over here. Holy shit. 500? Complete box Paper Mario. Yep, okay. Sometimes the price of retro games are off the charts. Ah, here we have again. Nintendo 2DS, this is one I still want to pick up. I didn't pick up today, maybe later I will buy it. Just want to do a review about it, I give my opinion. So NDS games, 3DS games, you can find them all here. Oh man, and there are a lot of them. They cranked out so many of these different games, it's just ridiculous. But I'm not a DS collector, maybe I will pick up a couple of games in the next convention. This convention, I want to take a close look at some PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Sega Dreamcast, Saturn, uh, some mini Neo Geo stuff. So one of the things I really love about this convention, you can find the weirdest stuff. So this is a Sonic the Hedgehog sticker book. There are no stickers in it, like it seems to be that this thing has never been used. But it's really just cool, 2 euro 50 for it, so that's not a lot of money. And like this seller has a lot of interesting stuff. This is more like a portable steering wheel for the N64. Never seen it before. From the band AC, if I'm saying it correctly. And I didn't pick it up either. I just wanted to show you. It's finally interesting, like finding some weird stuff. A lot of controllers. Uh, this special one for the NES. Oh, that's interesting. The VideoJet Game Master. I personally never owned it. It's 40 euros, so I left it there. If I can find a cheap, maybe fun to show on the channel for the handheld collection. On the floor, we're having some baskets with controllers and other stuff. I love those baskets just to look into them. Something you can find a really cool bargain. Over here, Mega Drive games, Desert Strike, 7 euro 50. This one came without the manual. Try to open it up with one hand, but I can really feel it that there is no manual. Inside. No, there is no manual. 
Okay, next up, you're having a collection of all kinds of games, Choo Choo Rockets. Some time ago, I picked it up, way too expensive. I realize it now. Uh, let's see some old prices. So this is more like a box full of different games, Xbox, PlayStation 2. I oh, see there is not really a price on it. So here I find these collectible items complete in box. The classic NES Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Camera. Oh, and here we're having some Game Boy Color games. Some of them are complete in box. I don't know how it's with the price in different countries, but when you're going to search for Nintendo games in box, especially the Game Boys, they can be expensive. This one even came only with a manual. Oh, let's see the look on this. I love these baskets with some games in it. Hybrid Heaven, never heard of it. Duke Nugum, maybe I'll pick it up later. Harvest Buddy, ah, oh, WF Warzone. I have so many good memories. Ah, oh, it's an ex-rental. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get here. This guy wanted to trade his old school Windows Surface and tablet slash notebooks thing. Oh, okay, PlayStation 2 games. Okay, in this video we'll see a lot of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. And sometimes some people will offer up their Infinity. Yeah, what's Disney Infinity stuff? Some of them are in very good condition. What the hell happened to Luigi over there? And he has a lot of them. I do like these figures. They're really cool to display. I personally really hated the game, the way how they created this. Such a bummer, they already stopped it. Over here, we're going to get the Atari flashback. They didn't review a very long time ago. I was not really happy about it. Okay, here we're going to get a lot of figures from Mario. Or better said, Nintendo in general. I'm more like, who sell those? They're not like McDonald's figures. Or did they sell it? Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, my buddy did found a game, Sword of Berserk. If I'm saying it correctly, from the Sega Dreamcast, 35 euro, it's quite a good deal. But let's take a closer what we're going to get more over here, Sega Saturn already own in PAL version. Ooh, okay wait, there are all demos. So I'm still searching for the really first demo I've played with Tekken 2. So I don't know if this, which, if this is one, so they are selling free demos. So free demos that we got for free and you're paying 250. I think it's quite a lot of money, 20 or 50, that's around $3.50 for a freaking demo. Yeah, maybe there are people out there who want to have all demos. I checked it out later, but it seems to be that there's the wrong demo in it, so that was not the one I was searching for. I want to expand my N64 collection, but the games I want to buy are the games that I want to play. So I'm not like the collector anymore that basically buys everything just to have it. I just want to buy it to play it. And I noticed with the N64, you will see it in this video, there are so many different prices. Still need to expand my Super Nintendo collection too. Did own a lot of games now, but there are a lot of fun games on it that I didn't own. Another one I want to collect is the Nintendo DS systems. This is the NDSi complete in box. Again, I'm not in the mood of buying Nintendo DSs now. There were some games were out on box, but again, if I want to buy a PlayStation game, I want to have it in good condition, especially if we need to pay some money for it. Oh boy, we find a lot of FIFAs today. Did notice a lot of great games, not this Power Soccer, don't like it. Cool, bo uh, cool Borders too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not a lot of interesting stuff. And the same goes here with the PlayStation 2, not really. But what I noticed, like N64, it's still very affordable to start collecting. Ready to Rumble Boxing is a game I wanted to add later to my collection. It's only like 7 euros, so they're like fun prices to buy. Of course, it's the cartridge only. I'm collecting cartridge only. See, this is the thing I really like. Maybe in the future we'll pick one up, like the Tetris game. It looks like a lot of fun. I, like, I love board games, you know, especially when it comes to the other one dedicated to one of my favorite games. We have a basket full of cheap Game Boy games, even some Game Gear games are over here. All kinds of prices. GameCube games, another basket of Xbox PlayStation 2. Another thing I want to collect starting is PlayStation 3 games, because I think PlayStation 3 will be like super affordable and there are a lot of great games on it. I have myself a couple of systems now. Brutal Legend, Tekken 6, a lot of cool games. Let's see what we're going here. Burst Limit, Dragon Ball Z. But I didn't like the game in general because it was very short. Overlord is another favorite one of mine. I also own it on Steam. But I want to have like physical games. 
Notice like there are two Tekken 6, sometimes you don't see them at all and now you see a couple of them. 007 Quantum of Solace Limited Edition. I can say like there are a lot of different games here. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi. And you will see more and more PlayStation 1 games. I noticed like there are a lot of PlayStation 1 games here. Ah, my buddy found something really funny. Fix a system plus. Some of you find these weird stuff between a basket full of PlayStation and other games. Rush down. I'm not sure like how far we'll go with PlayStation 1 collecting. Because yeah, we're having bargains like for a euro piece or you can buy three of them for 10 euro. But look at this, Rainbow Six, Dead Ball Zone, I like all the games most people don't want. Formula One games, I hate the freaking FIFA games like always. Crime Killer, that is a game that I did play a lot. It's not a great game, it's a fun game, it's kind of basic. I tried to search one, I wanted to make like a collection of three games for 10 euro, but I couldn't find three games. Maybe I'll pick it up later if I can find it like maybe two euro or something like that. Warzone 2100, that is a great game, but what the hell, why is that game 55 euro? Oh, my buddy found a couple of games, but they are all like scratched up. So that's the reason why they are just cheap. Well, let's go on. So here we're having mangabox.net, and this store is from Germany, if I'm saying it correctly. And this guy has a lot of great things, so like a lot of import, and holy crap, he has a lot of PS Vita games. But yeah, PS Vita games, there are a lot, some games are quite affordable, some are just expensive. Wipeout. Love this game, want to have it in my collection in the future. But again, I'm not really into the PS Vita collecting now, so I just want to leave it there. Maybe next up, but this store has a lot of stuff. Very interesting one. Holy crap, Radiant 3, 139 euros. See, like, when it comes to these games, I don't mind, like, paying 30, 40, maybe 50 euros for a game that I really want to play. But sometimes, like, 100 euro, oh, hell no. But with this guy, I found a lot of new GeoCD games, so I'm very glad that I picked it up in the end, because I did. I want to start collecting new GeoCD games. He also owned a lot of PlayStation 1 import games. And also, with the pricing, is that I noticed like some Japanese games are way cheaper to buy than the PAL versions. And that is quite convenient. Like here, having the, some games that I wanted to pick up for the new GeoCD. I like a pile of them. Most of them were like fighting games. Wait, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> they are all fighting games. So yeah, but eventually I picked them all up because I want to have like a good and nice new GUCD collection. Oh man, Loaded, another great game. But I didn't pick it up, not because it's 39 euro. I don't know if you're going to buy it like in the PAL region or American. Road Rash. Viewpoint, oh man, this guy has a lot of a lot of great games. Hexen, 29. Some of these classic games are super expensive. I did own this one back today, and I was talking about maybe 15 years ago. 29 euros, it's quite affordable. Maybe pick it up later. Okay, so this guy also has a mix of everything. I can see here, and Forza Limited Edition. Maybe in the future we'll pick that one up. Forza 2 is my favorite Forza. Oh, a buddy phone, another great game for the PlayStation. Okay, let's see what we're going to get over here. This is what I mean, like, we're having a lot of Vita games over here. When I'm starting to collect these, Injustice is one of the games that I wanted to own, and Rayman. So this guy was selling, let's say, modified PS Vitas, but he also owned, like, a lot of great things. And something that I was very interested in is the PlayStation TV, because this is basically in PS Vita. I had a couple of different conditions. Used inbox, complete new inbox, and this limited edition Fantasy Star. So it's quite interesting to see a lot of these PS Vitas. So if you're searching for one and you don't want to modify it, this can be a great way. Oh, yeah, looks interesting. Okie dokie, so next up, Sega Mega Drive. I found a guy who's selling a lot of different Sega Mega Drive games slash Genesis. And he has so much different titles. But I wanted to look for some certain items I didn't own in my collection. Or most of the time I do own them, but they are like in bad condition. Golden X2, 45 freaking euros. Yeah, of course the popular games are the most expensive one. So the game I wanted to search for is Rock and Roll Racing. Let's see, this is Super Street Fighter 2 already owned that one. This version I 
half is in very good condition. And let's see, we're going to get more. Some basic titles, not really interesting. Returnal Champions. My buddy Neo Gunlock still want to have one. Ooh, this one is in complete condition. 20 euro. It's not the best fighting game, but I still find it an interesting one to own. Ah, this is something I was very interested in. But look at this price. 40 freaking euros for Antenna 1 King's card. I did a review on my second channel, Wicked Brain Fart, regarding an old multi-game card. And if you're like a multi-card collector like the girl here in the Netherlands, this is just like an item you want to have, in my opinion, not for 40 euro because there are like 10 games on them and for this money you can buy a couple of them on Aliexpress. Here is Altered Beast. I didn't pick it up, I want to pick it up later on. This one was not in the perfect condition, I wanted to have it. Oh boy, look at this, 85 freaking euros for Turtles Hyperstone Heist. I love this game, I want to have it in my collection, but not going to pay 85 freaking euros for it. Uh, let's see what we find more. Strider, an interesting game, 30 euro. Nope. So you can see like, it, it also depends where you're going to buy it. So Street of Rage 2, later on I found one, the same like Mortal Kombat 1. Well, because those were not in good condition. Ah, I can feel it. Rock and Roll Racing is here, but it is without a manual. So there was not, not no, there was not really interesting things for me. Ah, we found one. I think this one is complete the box, 50 euro. I didn't pick it up eventually because I was more like maybe later. I have so much stuff that I want to have. The Rock and Roll Racing is not on the top five in my list. This person also has a lot of box game systems and all kinds of different pricings from 40 euro for place to up to 200 freaking 50 euro for a gamecube mario wow super advanced 150 euro okay and 150 euro purple crystal and 64. I was surprised to see that level of mods was here. I know the company because I bought some items from them in the past and I want to review a Game Gear in the future because he makes like these affordable, completely modded devices, Game Gear, but also like Game Boy Classics and other devices. But what you can see over here, he did an amazing job with showing off like the different colors he has. This thing is completely recapped with an IPS display in it and yet level up mods you can better set like the next level of mods. Especially when it comes to the Game Boys. I still want to own a Game Boy Classic with an IPS and maybe a backlight. But especially the IPS is pretty awesome. You can see the shells look amazing. This is a Metroid edition. And here we're going to get some games. Some of them I still need to own in my collection. Then we're having a cool LED lamp that is not for sale. It's pure for drawing people in. But this Kirby version. I think if I'm going to review one, I will pick up the Kirby version because that one looked pretty cool. And on the other part of the table, he has some other items. The 30 Euro Konami Game Boy arcade machine and he had a 3D printed case for putting your games in. But let's take a close look at the Game Boy Classics. 
This is the backlight edition. I'm not a big fan of those. The IPS is really nice and very bright. So you can see like one, around the 140 euro for it. But this is just something I want to highlight. Also what we can find is we can find a lot of figures. So this guy has a lot of them. Like piles and piles of figures. Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, a lot of them. But I picked up the Street of Rage 4 limited edition. I won't have the physical version. It came also with the soundtrack. I was surprised to see it. I was more like, well, there was only one of these games on the convention. The Vertrex. I wanted to pick one up, but there was one for one on the 40. I didn't pick it up because I was too late. And the one of 240, I just left it there because I find it too expensive. When it comes to Sega Mega CD games, WWF Rage Cage. It's okay. That's one of the games I maybe will pick up in the future, but all the other games that I found were not cool enough. The BC Races is a fun game. But yeah, you know, for the people who didn't know, like Mega CD doesn't have a lot of great games in my opinion. Wolf Child is also a great game. Maybe I can find them a little bit cheaper. But we'll see in the future. But I didn't find a lot of them. A little bit of a bummer. But we found one that was just crazy expensive. Fate of Fury Special Sega CD, 370 freaking euro. So I had a lot of fun on the convention and there was so much stuff to see. So not only modern games and retro games like plushes, we can buy a lot of figures. So if you're into that, there were always like a couple of guys selling those. In the end, like modern games, you can see like basket full of PlayStation 4 games now because of the PlayStation 4. Some extremely prized games because yeah, some games are just super rare and in very good condition. Retro gaming is super expensive to do, especially now and maybe in the future. I did notice like there were a lot of affordable platforms like PlayStation 1. There is so freaking much here in the Netherlands, like too much in my opinion. Xbox Classic, 360. I looked up some Mega Drive games now. I also checked out the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn, I love it. So here have the game that I picked up, Daytona. This song was stuck for like an hour or so in my head. But when it comes to pricings, it depends where you're going to look. So this is just a retailer that's selling a lot of different stuff. And the prices were a little bit higher than other ones. But okay, so I picked up a couple of games now, not this, because these, I didn't even own Atari Jaguar. I didn't know it was like everything goes way up with the prices for the console, but also the games. and. Yeah, it wasn't quite a big convention, but due of some regulations here, we couldn't have like more tables, but still there was a lot of stuff to see. And I did record a big portion of it for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become on the Wicked family, because in the Predator episode, we're going to do a lot of great things, thrifting, going to retro game conventions in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. We're going back home, me and Guinea we're going luck. The weather was quite bad. <laughs> it was really bad. But we went safely home, otherwise we couldn't make this video, of course. And it would be great to see you in the next video in a new episode of Wicked Gamer Ghost Predator Mode.